Ladies and gentlemen. Well, good evening and welcome to Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. A 10-round heavyweight fight between a top 10 fighter in the world and a comebacking former middleweight prospect as Kobe Nichols takes on Andre Bishop. Teddy, who would have thought Andre Bishop would have an opportunity like this? Well, you know they say, Joe, good things come to those who wait, good things come to those who overcome. He has overcome, he has waited, and he has his moment. Bishop's so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread, but he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. Nichols' his ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. Start of round number one should be a very good fight here between the unbeaten Andre Bishop and the Venom. That is hard to believe right there. It seemed to be a clean body shot, but yet the referee is deducting a point for a low blow against Andre Bishop. And once again, Andre Bishop is docked a point for a low blow. It seemed like a clean body shot. Hey, something's wrong here. The referee is now deducting a second point for Andre Bishop for a low blow with what looked to be a perfectly fine body shot. Teddy, typically in a fight like this, when we have a power puncher against a real high stamina, well-conditioned fighter, what adjustments do you usually see made throughout the fight? Well, one of the adjustments is on the side of the power puncher. He may find out that he better stop looking for home runs, stop swinging for the fences. He may have to adjust his game where he's using the jab more, looking for singles and doubles, not just that big one over the fence. Jab and a straight by Andre Bishop. And you can see the effect that these point deductions are having on Andre Bishop as he's just throwing to the head now. When naturally you're the smaller man against these heavyweights, don't think that you can't jab. Andre Bishop doesn't think that. He knows he can. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. And he ties up on the inside. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Oh, and a two-punch combo by Nichols. A solid uppercut by Andre Bishop. Right to the head with that right. Here's what so many like about Andre Bishop, the ability to block and attack. Good work. Lopez. I know, kid, I know. McQueen's got this referee in his pocket. That's his condition. Forgive me this fight. I lose. No, ain't gonna happen. That's right, kid. You're gonna wear this guy out, okay? Keep moving. Keep that jab in his face. Counter upstairs when he opens up the punch. Do not go to the body. Upstairs, you got it? I got it. Stay upstairs.
job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Nice strike after catching one by Kobe Nichols. Combination to the head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Piercing jab by Nichols. How about that left hand? Blocks away that headshot. Nichols' his right hand working well that time. He scored well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Andre Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Showing you some defense there with the block. Andre Bishop is really struggling here tonight, and you can point a finger to the referee and blame him. Early on, points were deducted for what appeared to be clean body shots that were termed low blows. Since then, Bishop will not go to the body. Instead, he's having limited success, if not any success at all, trying to go to headshots to Kobe Nichols. Good work on the combination by Andre Bishop. Flush right hand to the head. Scores up top with a left. Bishop showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Nice. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. Nichols is left now getting into the mix. Up top with the right hand. Side to side. Took a shot, now he gives a left. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Kobe Nichols. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Andre Bishop's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And now he's targeting upstairs. And now he scores well with a straight right. Good-looking combo by Nichols. He has his target. He lands a straight right. And now a well-placed hook to the head. Good combination to the head. Now, earlier tonight, we saw the point deductions go against Andre Bishop with what appeared to be perfectly clean body shots that were called low blows. Since then, Bishop has had success going to the head. And he continue on that way and somehow pull out a victory. Good job on the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Combo lands to the head. That is a sharp uppercut by Andre Bishop. A well-placed left hand up top.
Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Nichols is trying to find a way to survive the way he's doing it right now. He's holding on. He's clinching his Finish opponent. The and they work on it just like you do in other sports. I mean, football, you work on the goal line defense. This is his goal line defense, making sure no touchdown is scored. Or no more punches come. Nichols' corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe, and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. What impact from that uppercut by Andre Bishop. Once again, the story of this fight, and it happened early on, was the referee deducting points for Andre Bishop for what were clearly clean body shots. Since that point, Bishop has gone extensively to the head of Kobe Nichols. Now, he could still set up a knockout victory, maybe even a TKO, but the concern is, could he be dq or possibly lose a decision based on those points being deducted? job here, Teddy. I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching, but you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head movement. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the Will of the Wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship. Committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. Lands flush with the two punch combo by Andre Bishop. Very good, productive round from Andre Bishop. He can build off of that. Yes, he can, and he will build off of it because you can see his confidence is mounting round by round. What an excellent two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. And Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. with the oh, left hand nice it was sudden, it Where's was fast it was direct by nichols what guts by andre bishop to survive that and now to move on it seems to me that bishop is right now uncomfortable with the pace that's being set in this fight well he started the pace see that's the funny thing about it. he said it but he might not be able to keep it up see he's got his guard up really well that time and it protects his head Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Uppercut. Uppercut! Back to the body. Get after him! And now another left. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Nichols is stunned. Wow, both guys have got to. What a big shot. Great combination. He is down on the mat.
to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. is showing us that he is sticking with the game plan. But keep in mind, that game plan had him down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him right now, Teddy? Well, first of all, you got to explain to him very quickly and very clearly why he got caught. You can still do the other things. The other things that we thought going into this fight is still going to work. But make an adjustment. It's not that you didn't do the thing that could work. You didn't do it properly. Nice block by Nichols. Andre Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. Solid right by Andre Bishop. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Headshot lands, was a hook. A little head hunting with the right. And that's the end of round seven. Good round, Dre. Just like that, okay? Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Hits him in the mug with the right. Andre Bishop's left, landing Come on, well. Nichols is thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. Scores with the combo to the head. Solid straight right hand. Little head hunting with the left. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Unload. Very accurate two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Big, big shot comes crashing home. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? Yo, this is where instincts kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. Don't fight his fight. Gap and move. Gus Carisi was watching his charges for a knockdown in that last round. He also understands the business part of this game. He wants his fight. Pulls the 
trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again. Nichols is looking like a beaten man right now, Teddy. Went down earlier, and now he's on the precipice of disaster here. Yeah, right now is this position. The thing that has served him, the thing that has made him great is really hurting him because he doesn't know how to grab. There he is zoning in, the old one-two. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. You got this one. He gets off with a combination up top. He took a solid, perfectly executed combination. Nichols is down. He's gonna have to beat the count. some poor refereeing, Andre Bishop straight away from the body shots. Still, he was able to earn the knockout victory against Kobe Nichols. Andre, I know you don't want to fight your brother, but I remind you, this meeting was not my idea. It was Raymond's. I need this fight, Dre. The public has doubts about who deserves to fight for the title, me or you. You stole your brother's thunder, Andre. Man, I didn't steal anything. It's not about that. I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Sorry, Raymond. I, I didn't mean to... As my brother, you owe me the chance to prove myself. Son. That's why part of me keeps wondering how the hell did we get to this point? It's not gonna do us any good to worry about it. Is it? I mean, we're here. Raymond is worried. Raymond's wanted this opportunity his entire life, since the two of you were kids. He's bigger, but he wants to shine brighter than you. He wants to get out from under your shadow. So he's gonna fight like hell. He's got something to prove to the world and to himself. You've got to give this 100%. You're not gonna be doing Raymond or yourself any favors by taking it easy on him. Or by looking for a way out. You gotta give it 100%. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. Andre Bishop's latest win over top contender Kobe Nichols puts him squarely in the heavyweight title picture. After years of dominance by the champion Isaac Frost, we now have a situation where both Bishop brothers are considered legitimate challengers for the title. The surprising news from the offices of promoter D.L. McQueen this week is that the Bishop brothers have signed to fight each other, a heavyweight eliminator that's already being billed as sibling rivalry. The winner will earn the right to face Frost in what could be the biggest championship fight in decades. The MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, site to one of the most unique fights that we've ever brought you. Brother against brother, estranged and at odds, now against each other. As the older brother, Andre Bishop, takes on his heavyweight contending younger brother, Raymond Bishop, in an eliminator fight. For the winner, a chance for the world champion and a date with Isaac Frost. Teddy, size is up for me. Well, Joe, it's not easy. Not only do you have to deal with blood, fighting your own blood, you have to deal with controlling your emotions, but you have to deal with the fact that both these fighters, both these brothers, know each other so well. They've sparred together. They've hung out together. They've been in the gym since they were kids. They know all the tendencies of each other. It's going to be like looking in the mirror. Only thing, this time you look in the mirror, 
You might not like what you're seeing. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All right. Here we go. Round number one. Brother versus brother. Bishop versus Bishop for a chance to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. Some bad intentions on that jab by Andre Bishop. We overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the uppercut. That time, he found it, he saw it, he gave it. Good right hand by Raymond Bishop. Bishop's left, working well that time. What's going on, kid? You look like crap out there. I mean, let's pick it up, okay? He might be a little brother. He's got a big punch. And he's gonna put you on your ass if you're not careful. So let's get it together. Now! I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Here we go. Round two is underway. Now rise up off the canvas. One. You out, big brother. <laughs> Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. A shocking turn of events in the battle between the Bishop brothers this past weekend as Raymond knocks out his older brother, Andre. Andre was unable to beat the count after a big right hand from Big Baby in the second round. The stage is now set for a heavyweight showdown between Raymond Bishop and the champion, Isaac Frost. Alongside my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, where tonight the heavyweight title is on the line. Raymond Bishop, who earned this world title shot with a knockout of his brother, squares off against the world champion, Isaac Frost. Teddy, two of the very best in the game. Yeah, that's why this place is packed. Because not only is the your best as far as technique, as far as talent, but they bring it. They make fights that are pleasing to the eye. We're expecting to see a lot of fireworks tonight as Raymond Bishop takes on Isaac Frost. 
Isaac Frost got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. The heavyweight championship of the world is underway. Round one between Isaac Frost and Raymond Bishop. Just like that, Isaac. you to draw a straight line. That was a straight line, right to the chin. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on, kill a little time. His opponent dazed and stunned. Isaac Cross lands a damaging blow to the head. There's a straight right hand. Raymond Bishop's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's in. This is now turning into a... situation has developed Ray? here. The paramedics Ray, are up. rushing into the ring. Come on, Ray, get up, man. Please, sir. Please, sir. Bishop is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Have you... Let me do this. Listen, I'm not going to cry. Every time some clown gets hurt, right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. That's all for now. Please. Tell Andre Bishop, he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out? Good night, Megan. Good night, D.L. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. 
You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me that I'm going down for setting up Bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Don't fuck with me, McQueen. Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. But we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce T.L. McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding. The fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada for this heavyweight championship fight. Tonight, from the NGM Grand on the Vegas Strip, heavyweight champion Isaac Frost looks to defend his belt against Andre Bishop. Of course, Andre Bishop, once a middleweight prospect, the much smaller man now has a comeback in heavyweight, but he is full of revenge, looking to avenge his brother Raymond's loss to Isaac Frost. Teddy, emotions running high. Emotions that must be controlled. You know, you want to get after somebody, you think about boxing, you think about maybe getting angry, going and hitting what you're angry at. You get angry in this business, you get hit more. So it's gonna be the job of Bishop and his people to make sure they control those emotions all night long. Frost making his way to the ring now and he looks very focused for this fight. Questions from the challenger. Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. How's little Raymond doing? I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Break it up. I want to see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. This guy is a freaking animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid! This guy's a friggin' animal! You seen what he done to Raymond? Use your feet, keep your hands up, stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you! I got it, Gus. in mind what happened the last time Isaac Frost was in the ring with a bishop. That was baby bishop, Andre's brother. Now Andre seeks to avenge that brutal beating of his brother. So 
Teddy, here we have a power puncher against a fast and speedy fighter. What are some of the first things you look for in a matchup? Well, I'm looking for the fast guy to stay on the outside. When there's distance, you can use that speed. You don't want to be cramped where the other fighter can use his power. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight. Here. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, if you're going to rob a bank, you need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use the jab. Good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Just in a big upper. Wow! Trouble time for Bishop. He's going to have to beat the count. You wonder whether or not he's going to panic here or whether or not he's going to grab on the way he should. Again, that wasn't a fantastic round by Andre Bishop, but I will say this, Teddy. He's hanging in this fight. Isaac Frost is yet to get off good and clean against him. No, Bishop is doing what he needs to do. You know, he's making believe he's Claude Rains, the original Invisible Man. He is not wanting to be seen here tonight. Not seen by Frost. Bishop's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. We want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. Crashes home with the uppercut. Bishop in a tough spot right here. He just got decked. Now, the problem with the fighter who's been confident has been the boss throughout his career is that, you know, he's not used to tying up. It's almost like against his pride. He doesn't want to tie up. Beautiful, champ. Beautiful. Good doubling up of the jab by Andre Bishop. That's it. Just like that. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good left hand by Frost. Isaac Frost, so hard to penetrate his guard, and then he fires off a missile. Nice work doubling up that jab. Way to block there. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Keep that pressure. Last ten seconds. Good work, kid. Beautiful work. Like we talked about. He's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. Number three is underway. Good block there by Andre Bishop. Flush right hand to the body. 
Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Good looking uppercut that time. Keep moving, champ. Stick well, there's one way to slow the champ. Andre Bishop with a stinging body shot to Isaac Cross. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. And you can see that Andre Bishop's body work is now having quite an effect on Frost. He is slowing down a bit. The right hand landed. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job. Of just, wow! And Bishop goes down. He's been here before. He knows what to do. Fourth round. You remember when Andre Bishop, that is a big shot. Andre Bishop is on shaky legs. And you know what's going to hurt him now, Joe? He's such a cocky fighter, such an offensive minor fighter. He doesn't know how to tie up. Let's go, shit. Oh, and a big right hand land. to the midsection with the left. Good solid uppercut from Isaac Cross, wasn't it? This is where his opponent could use a construction hard hat. If Isaac Cross is throwing a right hand like that, it could be lights out. Come on, champ. Don't let him tap the Cross left now getting into the mix. He's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just the faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it. But he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Shake it off. Oh! Andre Bishop is down. How will he survive this? Andre Bishop back up, but is he back in this fight? I think he could still be dangerous. A wounded animal is always something you have to be cautious with. And right now, Andre Bishop can be dangerous, can catch his opponent, maybe coming in a little reckless. Well, this is a good sign from Andre Bishop here as he continues to land body shots against Isaac Frost. Well, he's trying to slow him down a little bit, you know, if you can't hurt a guy up top, you go downstairs. You don't have to be the bigger puncher to slow a guy down or hurt a guy in the body. All you have to do is be consistent and catch him in the right spot. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any? And all of a 
a sudden now, the first stream of blood on Andre Bishop. His eye has a cut just above it. Bishop is getting into a real groove here. It's as if he's painted. Frost doing really well on the outside. Boy, very sharp with his punches. He doesn't miss much. <laughs> he's like a scalpel right there. You know, he's making incisions here, there. He's really doing an operation. To the head he goes with a left hand. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Fires right back at him. Good job by Isaac Frost. He landed that hook very well that time. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And that's the end. How bad is it, guys? No, it ain't pretty. But we can handle it. You gotta give us some time, Dre. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. Don't let him mess it up. I got you. I got you. The start of the sixth round. Isaac Frost looks to be a fighter who's ready to go here. Bishop's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one. Because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. Andre Bishop knows Isaac Frost is going to come after that cut above the eye. And you can see he is holding his guard up high, trying to protect it. Bishop's eye is not looking good at all. He's trying to keep Frost off of him, and right now, that's his top priority. Well, right now, you're right, it is his top priority, and what he needs to do is something 
that you hate to hear, maybe throw away around. Spend the round moving a little bit on his bicycle and give some of that medicine that was put into his eye in the corner a chance to work. Stop the bleeding. Same for your cut. I need you to keep your hands up. Well, the ability to adapt, so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? Andre Bishop is hoping for a late rally here, but it doesn't look like Frost is going to give way anytime soon. Instead, it is Frost still being an impenetrable force. Andre Bishop searching for answers. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre straight Bishop. Hook, straight hook. Stop, Stop. Stop. Where's the jab at, champ? Let's go. More jabs. This fight could be stopped. Isaac Frost is damaging that eye of Andre Bishop. We could have a TKO here. Andre Bishop's got those earmuffs on. He's got his hands tight against his body. But Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe. You know, and the, the weather's a little bad. And you say, I, I want to be safe here. I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. Great hook to the head that time. Seconds to go in the seventh. Isaac Frost continues to hit that cut eye of Andre Bishop. The ref has taken a look. Hey, quit playing around with him and put that bastard away. Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah. Still seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power. And you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, guys. But I wouldn't want to be a judge. It's one of those fights that could go either way. Andre Bishop now a little more defensive-minded with that cut above the eye. He's trying to protect it, trying to make sure the big champ, the heavy-hitting Isaac Frost, can't get to it. Good block by Andre Bishop. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Andre Bishop looking good right here. Andre Bishop is now considered a stinging blow. And Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over! There's a new heavyweight champion!